Hey folks, it's Dr. Gersmar from Aspire Natural Health. And in this quick video, I want to talk to you about soil-based probiotics. Lately, I've had a number of people we work with asking me about them, so I thought I'd answer those questions for you here today. First, let's just do a tiny bit of background so that we're all on the same page, okay? Our gut is absolutely full of bacteria, and those bacteria have a major influence on our health. Having bad gut bacteria can cause serious health issues for us, and having good gut bacteria can help us to stay healthy and happy. Now, probiotics are going to be supplements of different kinds of these gut bacteria. The most common type of probiotics are going to feature two main kinds of bacteria. The first, lactobacillus, also called lactobacillus acidophilus. The second, bifidobacteria. When you turn over the bottle, and you look at the label, you may see all different kinds of lactobacillus and bifidobacteria, but most of the probiotics out there are going to feature these two bacteria, and they can be incredibly helpful. We've seen them make a big difference for many people over the years. And then there are the soil-based probiotics. These feature entirely different types of bacteria that are not lactobacillus or bifidobacteria. There are a number of companies and formulas out there with the most popular one at the time of this recording, which is in 2019, being Prescript Assist. And that's the one most of the people we work with come to us asking about. Now to understand the role that these bacteria play, it's important to understand how historically we got our probiotic bacteria. And we got them from several different places. The first was the foods that we ate. Every traditional culture has fermented foods that are rich in these probiotic bacteria. The second place we got our probiotics was from dirt. Whether we're talking about hunter-gatherers or farmers, for most of our history as a species, we were in regular daily contact with dirt. And while some cultures actually ate dirt or clays, the reality is most of the time you ended up eating dirt accidentally and you got it in all your cracks and crevices. Okay? So bacteria like lactobacillus and bifidobacteria that live inside of us, we got primarily from things like fermented foods and contact with other people and animals. And then the soil-based organisms we primarily got from our contact with the dirt. That's why they're called soil-based organisms. And most of us these days don't get a lot of contact with dirt on a regular basis anymore. So people ask us, I've read on the internet that these soil-based organisms are almost miraculous and have helped a lot of people. Should I be taking them? All right, based on our clinical experience here, having treated a lot of people with digestive issues and autoimmune diseases, here's what we've seen. About 20% of people who take soil-based probiotics see really big improvements or changes from them. We've seen it be the turning point for some people, massively improving their symptoms. Another 30% of people who take soil-based probiotics see improvements. May not be miraculous, but they notice that things are improved. Digestion's better, inflammation goes down, mood improved, they feel better, you know, all good stuff. So our experience is about 50% of people who take soil-based probiotics do see improvements. Another 40% or so don't notice any changes. They take it for a while and they really can't detect any positive or negative changes from having taken it. Lastly, there's about 10% of people that we've worked with who find that soil-based probiotics or soil-based organisms definitely make things worse for them. Now, this can happen with any probiotic, so it's not something particularly bad about soil-based organisms or probiotics. The thing is, when we start changing the microbiome, some people's systems will respond negatively, and they can see their digestion get worse, or their autoimmunity flare, or other symptoms come up. All right, so there you have it. Our experience is that soil-based probiotics are effective for about half the people who take them. And for some people, they can be almost miraculously helpful. For others, it can be unpleasant.
All right, if you're considering trying these soil-based organisms, I recommend you start slowly, especially if you know that you or your system is very sensitive to changes. We've seen people who've been so sensitive, they can only take part of a capsule one time a week, while others can dive right in, taking several capsules a day, not seeing any issues at all. But we recommend you start on the low end and then build up your dose. If after one to three months you haven't noticed any changes, it's good to take a break and see if you noticed any changes when you stop taking it. Sometimes that's when people notice the biggest differences is not necessarily when they take something, but when they stop something, they see things really change. All right? Hope that was helpful. Now, if you don't know, I've created a number of free reports with some of our best information inside to help with a number of different digestive and autoimmune issues. They're all available for free on our website. If you or anyone you know is dealing with IBD or inflammatory bowel disease, that's ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, I'd like to offer you the guide that we've put together on how we treat IBD here at Aspire Natural Health. Now there are two easy ways that you can get it. The first is to simply click the button below below and fill out the very short form and we will happily send that to you for free. The second, if you happen to be watching or listening with your cell phone or it's nearby, all you need to do is text the word IBD to 425-651-6851. That's the word IBD to 425-651. 651-6851. And again, we will happily send that to you for free. So please either click down below or text us and we'll get that expert report over to you right away. At Aspire Natural Health, we are experts at treating digestive issues and autoimmune diseases. If that's you or a loved one, we would love to connect with you. We offer a no obligation, no pressure chat to see if we can help you and if we're the right fit to work together. If we are, we'll move forward. And if we're not, we will do our best to connect you with the person who can best help you. The only thing you have to lose is being unsure what the best next step for you is. So please call us now at 425-202-7849 or email us at info at aspirenaturalhealth.com. All right, folks, until next time, take care.